Hi everyone, Amy and Doug from Plants from Human Health Institute, and we are really excited to be with you today. Doug, what are we going to be doing? We're going to build three different trellises that we think students can do in their school garden. Amy, when is a good time to be building trellises to grow peas on? Well, I always think of peas around President's Day, um, and that makes me think of Thomas Jefferson, and that was one of his favorite crops. In fact, he had a competition every year to see who among his neighbors could get the first peas to the table. So President's Day, any time between then and early March is a great time to build a trellis for peas. Great. So well, what let's materials? start with this PVC okay. um, trellis. And uh, we've got part of it together, but can you show us what we're going to do with the uprights like I have here? Yeah, so for this trellis, you're going to need some pieces of PVC. You're going to need some um, little corner brackets and a hacksaw tape measure and some string. And the first thing we're going to do, because the PVC is a little slick on the outside, your string's not going to hold on to it very good. So we are going to take this pipe, we're going to measure and we're going to cut some little slits in it so that the string will hold to it best. So I'm going to get down here, I'm going to measure about every four inches and mark. So we've got four inches, eight inches, 12 inches, 16, and so on, all the way down. All right, that's good. Okay. And now I'm just going to take the hacksaw. I don't want to saw all the way through, obviously, but I'm just going to saw some shallow grooves in there. And we'll do that all along every mark and that will help the string to stay put. Okay? okay, we'll do that on both sides and then we'll go ahead and put it up. Yeah, Doug, and how Amy, are we gonna we've attach? got some clamps to put on the side. We've already installed this one. And, and what type of clamps are those? That's just a conduit clamp. So you usually found what, like in the plumbing department in yes, your box store? Yeah. Okay, great. So very, very easy to install. All you need is a drill with a bit and a couple of screws. Okay, well let's get this thing assembled. Let's see if I can get this in here. All right. Okay. And the cuts go on the outside of the standards. And then to give it support, we're going to put this piece across the top. Same size PVC with a 90 degree elbow on each end and just pop it on easily. All right. And then I'm just using a roll of cotton twine here. And I think I'll hand it to you. You can tie it around and then we'll start, start fixing the trellis. Now, peas, I think, are a really cool plant because they exhibit what's called sigmotrophism, and that means they like to grow against anything that they touch. So you don't really have to train peas to grow on a trellis. Okay. As soon as they feel it, they're going to start growing. So we're just going to wrap it around, putting it in the grooves. I'm going to hand it off to you. It's a great activity for teamwork. Tie it off. Now, Doug, I have a question for you because I've grown peas before and they can get really tall. So what do we do if the, pea, the peas grow taller than this four foot section? Uh, good question. And it's a really easy fix. We've pr uh, made this so that we can go up with it. So Amy, if we pop this off, the, remember we didn't glue it or anything. We're gonna add a coupling. Add a little connector. Add another piece. And of course, you would need to cut these cut as well these as for well. the string. We haven't done that. And now look, we went from about three to three and a half feet all the way up to, I'm guessing, just shy of six feet. Yeah. So this is a very easy, very inexpensive trellis that's great for peas or any climbing plants. All right. Well, let's, okay. let's get started on the next yeah. one. Hey, Doug, we've got a second trellis to build right now, and this right. one's even easier than the last one. It only requires two things. Tell us what, what, what we're going to need for this. Well, these metal posts that can be uh, obtained at most any box store or um, hardware okay. store, they come in. This is a five-foot post, about a foot of it in the ground. You can get them in six foot, and it's very easy for the younger kids because all you have to do is string it on these hooks. Okay, so they have hooks on the outside and right. you just basically put this down in your raised bed. 
Right, and there's a place for your foot to push it down. Okay. So it's real easy. Don't even need a sledgehammer or a rubber mallet to put it in. Now I'm going to go ahead and start on my side, and then I'll pass it on to you. Okay. Now what we're doing is we're wrapping it under the hook and back around that same side so it makes sure that it stays put. All right, yeah. I don't think we need to keep keep going. I think uh, they've got it. But. Yeah, yeah, and it can go all the way up to the top if you need to. And the great thing about this is you can have it as, as wide or as narrow as the area you, that you're working on. All, all yeah. you're bound by is your string. And if you went a long distance, you could put multiple fo posts multiple in posts. there as well. Okay, all right, well, let's see if we can come up with another one. Now we have a third option for a trellis, and this one is also easy and cheap, and but a little bit, little bit more involved. This one uses bamboo. Now this bamboo is what we purchased, again, at a big box store. You're gonna need about seven pieces of six foot bamboo right. for this. We cut, left, um, let's see, four of them, the original length of six feet, and then we cut the other three that are the width of the bed right. that we're yeah. going to do, so they don't stick out, get anybody's way. Right. Doug, you have another Well, one? yeah, I was gonna say, Amy, um, while you can buy it, if you by chance have access, and I happen to have a neighbor who has bamboo growing, happy for me to cut it. I've got these pieces that I purchased, or that I cut rather, and didn't have to purchase. These work great. So yeah, those are but, a lot sturdier, but this will work. So let's get started. Okay. This is going to be an A-frame trellis, and we're going to start by putting our large pieces where we want to start. Right, and we've got one in each corner. And Amy, one of the benefits of doing the A-frame is that we we can do more rows. This, in our yeah, case, this, we're going to be able to do three rows. This one's great for yeah for multiple rows of pieces. All right, the first step would be we're going to attach this down low on each side, just taking a piece of string and wrapping it around. Right. All right. Amy, it is possible to build this on the ground first, attaching these. I notice as we're doing this that the, the pole, the outside one, does come up sometimes as you're pulling on the string. So yeah. you don't have to have it in the ground uh, already to do it. All right, and that should be good enough there, okay? That was a semi-pattern. Okay, and then the next step is you're gonna do the same thing a little further out. So I'm going to put this, because we have three rows of keys here, I'm going to put this kind of in between the last two, and they'll be able to grow from either side of this. And we're going to do the same thing on this one. We're going to go here first. We're going to go up here first. Okay. Yeah. We want to go up fairly high. You also want to leave enough room at the top for another pole to go. We're going to place another pole for stability right at the top. Right. And then on both sides of this, while, while Doug's working on that, I'm going to go ahead and tie this up top. we string side to side, but this one we're going to string top to bottom. And just like Doug mentioned earlier, that peas have tendrils and they will grab onto anything, so right. it doesn't really matter what direction. So I'm just going to go up and around on this one. And again, about four inches or so apart is probably going to be right. And you're going to want to do this on both sides. Right. And then when we get to the end of that, then we can start going down the other side. In fact, they don't even have to go all the way down and tie around that. You could drop a third set from the middle for these in there. And as soon as, as, soon as those peas feel it, they will grab hold and they'll climb right on up.
Now these are three easy and very inexpensive trellises that you and your students can build together. But I also challenge you to be creative. I love finding found objects that I can use for a trellis. In fact, in my yard, I have an old futon base that I've got that I'm growing stuff on right now. I didn't want to throw it out, and it works great. Anything that you can think of that Doug, you well, can use as a trellis. Well, we've talked about the one that I think is my favorite. It's a couple, a pair of old crutches. Yeah, put those put on one either in each end. end. That's the post, and just tie the string back and forth. And I think it's kind of a cool look, too. A great way to repurpose something. Yeah, so anything you can think of can make a great trellis. So right. challenge you to, to build one, be creative.